Howdy folks, Josh here with the Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And guys, if you fish bodies of water that have possession limits on certain species of fish like crappie or bluegill, you're going to want to stay tuned because I've got an easy to do DIY project this week that's going to keep you out of a ticket. So stick around. Alright guys, depending on the body of water you fish, you may or may not have a possession limit on certain species of fish. For instance, Wren Lake here in southern Illinois, excellent crappie lake, and you've got a limit of 25 fish per day, and of that 25, only 10 can exceed 10 inches in length. Now, when these fish get to biting, you're putting them in the live well, it can get really tricky trying to keep track of how many fish you actually have. And that's why I've come up with the project we're going to be working on today. It's going to help you keep tabs on those fish. That way you can focus on catching fish and not remembering how many you have of this or that or the other. So let's go ahead and step on out to the workbench. I'll show you the materials we're going to be using in today's project, show you how easy it is to put this project together. And then you're going to be ready to go back out on the water, catch your limit of fish, and not be a single fish over. All right, taking a look at the materials for today's project, you'll need two packages of different colored pony beads, a section of paracord, a short section of fishing line, and a small carabiner. Begin by measuring and cutting a four-foot section of paracord from your roll. Now use a lighter to melt the cut end. This will prevent fraying. Open your beads. You will need 24 of one color, 6 of another color. Now, using 25 pound test or heavier fishing line, cut a 12 inch section from your spool. Align the ends of the paracord and double it up. Pull to find the midpoint. Place one end of your fishing line through the paracord midpoint. Align both ends and double the fishing line. Place a total of 15 beads onto your fishing line using this pattern. One red, four white, one red, four white, one red, four white, or whatever colors you chose for your project. Now pull the beads down the fishing line onto the doubled paracord. Slide your 15 beads towards the end of your paracord. From the folded end of your paracord, measure down 7.5 inches. Tie an overhand knot at this position. Slide your beads up to the knot you just tied. Now measure 7.5 inches from the knot towards the end of the paracord. Tie another overhand knot. Cut the ends of the paracord about one inch below the knot you just tied. Then use a lighter to melt the ends to prevent them from fraying. Use your fishing line to place another 15 beads onto the paracord using the same pattern as before. Tie an overhand knot at the top of the paracord, leaving a small loop.
Place a carabiner onto the loop to complete your tally counter. You can now clip your counter to your belt loop, iPilot remote, or anywhere else you choose. To use your tally counter, simply slide a bead upwards towards the knot each time you catch a fish. To reset, pull the beads back down towards the bottom knot. All right, guys. Well, that's going to pretty much do it for this week's video. I hope it's helped you out, and I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, you get enough materials when you purchase this to make a bunch of these. So make one for a buddy or two. Give them to them. Keep them out of trouble. And uh, everybody wins. Everybody goes home happy at the end of the day. So, guys, if this video has helped you out, please take a moment. Give it that thumbs up button. If you're checking me out for the first time, guys, I post a fishing or boating-related tip or trick every week. If that's something you enjoy, hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That way you don't miss a video. Guys, that's all I've got for this week. Take care. Until next time, catch you out on the water.